Hey, Ben Pisto here, field agronomist in the state of Wisconsin for Beck Cybreds. I'm coming to you guys here today to talk about a, a topic that I didn't want, I was hoping wouldn't arise, but it has. Um, that's the topic of seed corn maggots. I'm out here in a, a soybean field that was planted on May 12th, um, no-tilled into corn stalks. It also did have a cereal rye cover crop in it. Um, that is burned down and gone now. And we're just starting to see the signs of the 30 inch row soybeans popping through, although it's uh, um, three weeks after the planting date. So not ideal by any means. Um, and as I come out here and I do some scouting, I'm seeing some big gaps between plants. Um, obviously in a 30 inch row, we would love to see plants roughly an inch and a half to two inches apart. Um, I'm seeing gaps of six to eight to 12 inches um, between plants. Um, and that's kind of a sure sign that something's going on under the ground. So if I come out here and I do some digging, um, just take my knife, do some digging, pull out some plants um, that haven't emerged yet, and I take a look at them, here's what we got. Um, if you look at the plants in my hand here, there's a seed corn maggot actually burrowed right into the cotyledons. Um, they will also burrow right into the hypocotyl as well, and then they just continue to feed on that tissue. Now the plant does not die right away, um, and in many cases the plant will actually live but it opens that plant up to infection by funguses and any other soil-borne pathogens. So then they usually die later on. So here's what I want you guys to do. Get out into your early planted fields, both corn and soybeans, especially if you had cover crops or heavy amounts of manure put on that field and it's no-tilled. Um, in those fields, there's a real high likelihood that you guys will have some seed corn maggot feeding um, and that is just because seed corn maggots actually begin their development at a base temperature of 39 degrees. And they like cool, wet um, weather with decaying matter. If you think about it, that's exactly what we had in Wisconsin this spring. So perfect conditions for them. Most guys have them in their fields and they never realize it. So get out, do some digging, do some scouting, take a look. Um, there is no treatment for this. Um, they're under the ground, we cannot kill them once they're infected. But what we can do is do some stand counts, and if we have a stand count of lower than 50,000 plants per acre here in the beginning of June, we need to come and patch some beans in. We're not going to rip the stand up, we're just gonna patch some more beans in um, so we can get a little denser stand. Now, I would not be worried about the seeds that are gonna be planted this week. Um, the soil temperatures are so much warmer now, these plants will pop out of the ground. And with the addition of Nemesect on our seed, um, that will give us some pretty good control against seed corn maggots, um, as long as the plants aren't, the seeds aren't sitting in the ground for three, four weeks. So not concerned about seeds that are being placed in the ground this week, but get out and scout those really early planted fields, see if you have this issue. Have a great day.